Some of them go down into the life germ, other of them go out in space. They're trying to take, trying to take what they call the four forces, fundamental forces of, of, um, of nature, uh, the, uh, the strong force, the weak force, the electromagnetic energy, and gravity. I'm going to put in some article, maybe number 12, a question. Is it possible that there are four forces of nature which, if understood, puts a person in the position of God? Is it possible that these are the physical aspects of four spiritual qualities in the makeup of the Lord of the worlds himself? Since it is mentioned by all the scholars that I've read about so far, there are four fundamental attributes or names of God, all the others of which they say are derivatives of. There are four, are they not? In the prayer, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. And we call him the master or lord of the day of requital. Is it possible that there is a correspondence deeper than most of us have looked at between the forces of nature and the forces of or in the nature of God himself? The way the Caucasians go after it, they say, well, God, maybe, yeah, okay, yeah, that's right, mm -hmm, over there. But they are after these laws of nature. Now listen to this. Proof that there is a profound interconnection between the quote-unquote forces of nature and the, and the nature of our being is they could not send anybody to the moon and get back except to the extent that they duplicate the mathematical formulas that already existed prior to their birth by which they learn and then they form materials and train the men in accordance with these formulas. They don't violate the laws of nature. They get in tune with them, at least to the extent to send a man or men to the moon and back. Brothers and sisters, what you're studying is the mind of God. Did you hear what I said? You were studying about building the who? Of who? Of self. And who are you from? So what are you studying? You're studying yourself. You're studying God. You're studying God. You're studying yourself. What are you saying? The more you know yourself, the more you know God. The more you know God, the more you know yourself. That can only be if we are directly from Him. Now how are we from Him? Tune in Saturday. Either 8 or 9 o'clock. What's tomorrow's date? 18. <laughs> okay, I, that's all I want to say. I hope to see you tomorrow morning and... and uh, May Allah bless you if you, if some of you are not on Ramadan and you're scuffling and what the some of you sisters with babies and whatnot, and you need to take water, take it, don't fall out on the floor. You understand what I'm saying? And if you're on it, you can make it great. What we did last week in Cleveland, we, we dealt for nine and a half hours. I don't expect to hold you all this long tomorrow. Nine and a half hours. We started at nine. We fit nine, ten past nine to be exact. But the brother opened up at nine. We finished at about five or six minutes past six. We went, we went into the dark and then we broke out and went and took care of that other business called eating. We had a couple of breaks. I don't remember how long they lasted, but the meeting, we were together that long. I'm not going to hold you that long. Maybe only about six hours. No. About four. It may take about four hours to do what I want to do. I want to make a broad opening statement and then do something from that statement and then ask you a couple of questions and that'll be it. I think we can do it in about four hours. I hope that you will get, I know it may cost a couple of dollars, I'm not making money off it, but I hope that you will try to get last week. This will be part seven of a series of points. It involves making a timeline. That's why I asked you to have me long blackboard. I can, I can try to do it with this. But do you have another one in addition to this? How long will it be? Okay, fine. Because, because the more space I have, the easier it is for you to see what I want to get over. We're going to go from the prior to the beginning of time to right now. What is the context? I hope that you walk away from here tomorrow understanding clearly what is the context of our time. You are alive now. Why are you alive now? You are alive now, aren't you? Then are you blessed to be alive now? 200 years ago, a lot of us would have been swinging on the trees. Because you, so, you, you, just, you just wasn't made to serve these people. They would have just hung you. 
and you wouldn't have had no power to get around it, right? A lot of us wouldn't have made it. We wouldn't have got to 20 years old. Um, <laughs> the people who tend to accept this teaching uh, tend to be very dissatisfied with this wicked world. And so you rebel, and if the wicked got power, they take you on out of here. <laughs> and that's not a laughing matter either. Or you could be born so far down the road, you have no sense of this particular time. You know what they say about B.C. and A.D.? B.C. means before Christ and A.D. means what? Why don't they just say A.C.? Why not B.C. A.C.? Why not? But that particular time wasn't here 2,000 years ago. It's now. You're living right in, if I can show you. You have a... unique time in history there will never ever be a time like this never why I hope that you will uh, have your ears wide open I would appreciate it if you bring a couple of dictionaries you don't have to bring anything else you may want to bring some notes I think you probably will but I want you to get a good night's sleep uh, don't raid your icebox tonight don't raid your icebox tonight don't raid your icebox tonight. don't go in the icebox tonight don't eat any more tonight don't eat anything tonight. Will you do that? <laughs> I said that how many times? I want to get the point over. Drink some water. You know, and then uh, maybe you should have, maybe I should have uh, told you, Brother Minister, to tell everybody to get, uh, eat for about a week in advance some onions. Onions strengthen the nerves. I, I, I want you to think, come ready to walk with me through a, a few simple but important point, but I've got to have a decent, that's, not, that's really too small. You say they're both going to be double this? And they're going to stand up? Okay. And I'll be able to walk around with the mic. So I can draw what i got, got to draw. And everybody will be able to see it. That's very important. I thank you so much, my dear brothers and sisters. I, I don't know how many times since 1993 I've been here. Three or four times, I don't remember. But I appreciate the spirit each time that I'm among you. And we're going to have about how many people out here tomorrow? A whole bunch? All the, way, all the way to the back of the wall? Okay. Okay, I appreciate that. And all the babies that are in, the babies will get out, whatever they're going to get out. Don't underestimate babies. They start learning with almost upon the point of conception. In fact, I'm going to take that back. They learn at the point of conception. And in a sense, even before that, because mother and father each of them are doing whatever they're doing, and you are informing all the cells in your body as you go throughout your own life. So actually, the education begins prior to birth in a certain sense. Okay, I thank you very much. May Allah bless you to get home and get back safe tomorrow. tomorrow. And um, <clears throat> I hope that um, he blesses me because I'm certainly going to pray to uh, convey to you. I, I don't have no details in my head, but I know basically what I want to get across. And I would ask you to pray for me also and pray for yourself. Let's ask Allah to bless us with an excellent four or five hours tomorrow. And, um, and when you go home, I hope that you will turn this over in your mind and come back Sunday and bring people with you that don't know what you know. Okay? Remember, when you walk in the supermarket tomorrow, sisters and brothers away, pump gas at the gas station, you're always going to be around some of your people who don't know what you know. And you owe it to them to share their birthright, our collective birthright, with them. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, brothers and sisters, let's give Brother Jabil another round of applause. 
And not that he's here for applause, he is here to help. And he has done a wonderful job so far ever since we first saw him at the airport. He gets off the plane teaching and giving assignments. And so we'll continue this until he actually gets on the plane again. So uh, thank you for coming out tonight. You did yourself uh, a, a good service uh, by coming tonight. Be sure you're here tomorrow and call other brothers and sisters that are not here tonight and uh, ask them to be here tomorrow as well. And so we're going to close the meeting out, but we